Cake here again with another guide video. Today I'm going to show you how to back up and restore save files from your Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire games using Homebrew. Specifically, Ninja Hacks. If you can get Homebrew loaded, any method will work. Uh, you might be wondering, what's the point of backing up and restoring my save files? You can take the file off your game, open it in PK Hex, and then make all kinds of wild edits, copy Pokemon, clone Pokemon, add items and then you can put the file back on your cartridge. It's a good idea to have a backup in case you make some wonky edits that don't work out the way you want. What do you need to get all this running? Like I said, you just need homebrew. There's a link in the description and at the end to see how to install Ninja Hacks, so check that out. Another thing you're gonna need is to have the Save Manager app in your homebrew folder. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First, download Save Manager from this link. Okay, once you have it downloaded, unzip it and then open the 3ds folder and then just have it to where you see save underscore manager take your sd card from your 3ds and open it and assuming you have homebrew installed already there's going to be a folder called 3ds go into 3ds now you want to put the save manager folder you just downloaded into the 3ds folder and it's really quick because the file's small and that's it uh, now you have save manager on there now eject your SD card and then uh, put the SD card back in your 3DS. Next thing you want to do is boot up your homebrew. I already have uh, homebrew installed with Ninja Hacks, so for me this is going to be real quick. Okay, and if you installed it correctly, uh, you're, on your list here you're going to see an option called Save Manager. If you're using Ninja Hacks, you can eject your Cubic Ninja game card you can enter into save manager and if you're using a physical copy of the Pokemon game now you can insert the game or if you have a downloaded copy just uh, use left and right and you're gonna wanna scroll to your game I scrolled to my copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby select A to target it you're gonna see some glitchy fun fun and then you're gonna have a couple options A is going to back up the save file B is import the save file so that's gonna put the file from your SD card onto the game and then X is for exit. I'll just back this up so A, back up, it's really fast and then just X, exit out. From there you can just pop your SD card out and then plug it back into your computer and if everything went according to plan uh, when you open up your SD card there should be a new folder in the root directory called save data backup and when you open it up you'll see a file in there called main. That's your save file. So I'd make a copy, like I just made a copy before I made this video onto my desktop called main copy. You can copy it, name it whatever you want. Make sure to only, inside the save data backup folder, only have one file called main. Don't add any files, don't have it be empty, just this one file named main. Uh, if you ever want to take a backup from before, just drag it in here and have it be the only file and then call it main. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to open it in PK Hex and how to s make a couple quick edits and then how to save it. That's the most important part. So all you have to do is just drag uh, that file main straight into PK Hex, which I've already done. And it's going to open it and you'll be able to scroll through your boxes and edit items and all sorts of awesome stuff. I'm just going to copy the Spinda a couple times and then when I load it onto my card I'll show you there's a bunch of new Spindas in there. Once you're done making your edits, go to the Save tab in PK Hex and click Export Save. And then navigate to the SD card and then make sure to save right over Main. You're going to replace it. Okay, and that's all you gotta do. And then eject your SD card. Put your SD card back into your 3DS. And then your homebrew will be working again. And then just scroll back down to Save Manager. And then we're gonna use B this time to import the save data. Now if everything went according to plan, we're gonna exit our homebrew. And then boot up the game. Load your file. Hopefully I'm in a Pokemon Center. Pretty sure I am, yep. Box one. Oh, and there you go. You can see all those spindles I just cloned are there. So that's how you edit Pokemon games now with the current homebrew method and save manager. Uh, it's not quite as easy as using the QR code methods and RAM to save as before, so there's quite a few extra steps, but 
once you get it in Pika Hex, you know, you can just do what you want with it. If anybody's interested in using the old QR code method in RAM to save, which I think are easier, uh, we actually sell unlocked 2DSs which have old firmware, and we have something called Update Blocker, which prevents Nintendo from spoiling your fun and updating the firmware. And those units are fully compatible with the QR codes and RAM to save, and I have other guides on how to do all that in my other videos. But uh, if you want to learn how to install Ninja Hacks, there's a video in the description or at the end. I have been working on a project called Nekomon for like six months, and it's really, really close to being finished. Uh, that's going to be the best way to make Pokemon, in my opinion, because they're going to be really, really legal, just like naturally caught Pokemon, and you won't have any problems. But until then, I still want to try to help people uh, make some decent Pokemon that could potentially not get you back. Alright, so thanks for